David Trainer joining us right now, the CEO over at New Constructs, which has a sell rating on the stock, a stock now uh, sitting on what is now, I believe, its fourth consecutive quarter where they've missed estimates here, at least on the top line numbers here. And it's raising a lot of questions, David, about the growth story, what it is, or more importantly, what it can be, depending on what the lineup looks like. Any hope? I don't think so, Romain. I mean, I think this growth story was really confirmed to be broken last quarter when we didn't just see a deceleration in growth. We saw a decline in deliveries and margins contracting. Uh, I think the best days of this company are, are behind it, especially in the car business, uh, as competition only gets stronger and their you know, competitors' market share gets gets bigger and better. And uh, Tesla's just not as popular as it once was. And and I think the margins that we've seen in the past are um, not sustainable. And it's yeah. I think it's notable that the company is still missing estimates when we know that all the bullish analysts out there are putting out a low number to yeah. make it easy for Tesla to beat. So it's um it's it's really it's, it's almost surprising they still beat the already reduced numbers. There are some broader trends right now when it comes to car buying and EV buying specifically that's hurting Tesla. There are obviously some very Tesla specific things that are also hurting Tesla. I do want to focus on one thing, particularly when it comes to valuation, David, because, you know, a lot of investors, they don't value this as a car company. They value it as a tech company. And Elon Musk has been very good about trying to shift that narrative around the broader tech capabilities. We are the original AI company or we are more of an energy company than just uh, uh, you know, a car company. We're a battery company here. Any credence to that? I mean, they've shown in the past that they can make a pivot. Do you not see that up ahead? I don't know. How, how big has the pivot been, Roman? I mean, you know, I think maybe the only other segment besides autos is energy, and it's still like maybe it's below 10 percent. Never has been much more than that. I think Musk is a great marketer, an amazing marketer. And it feels like every time there's bad news, he pulls another rabbit out of the hat, whether it's a robot or or a spaceship or something oh, else. I, like I forgot that. about the humanoid robot. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's, it. that's, that's right. the talking point. How can you forget? I mean, it's such a good dancer, right? Uh, <laughs> and, and so, uh, yeah, I, I think these are diversion tactics. I think it's part of his marketing prowess. And, and, I, and I, I don't see that there's anything that Musk is going to do that's going to generate cash flow adequate to justify the valuation. 